Diyat's pa has never gone to school, so she decides to teach him herself. Pa listens to her most of the time, but math days are difficult. How does Diya manage? The title of the story, Teaching Pa, written by Amritash Misra, illustrated by Zainab Tambawala. The story is published by Pratham Books, narrated by Asavari Doshi. For more such beautiful stories, visit www.booksthatspeak.com. Diya came home after playtime with her friends. Pa, she called out. Pa ran into the kitchen. He hurriedly picked up a basket of peas and started to shell them. Pa had never gone to school, so Diya had taken it upon herself to teach him. Of all the subjects, Pa enjoyed geography the most. He liked topics related to farming, soil, crops, rainfall, rivers and maps. But today was math day. Pa, you can't run away from math, said Diya. Pa continued to shell peas. Math is very important, Pa. We will be learning division today. Uh, Diya, I am busy. Can't you see? Said Pa. Pa was always busy on math days. He would suddenly have to clean the house or paint the walls or write letters to distant relatives. I have to cook dinner, said Pa. Okay, Pa, I will help you. Give me some pea pods, said Diya. Pa gave her half the pods. See, you just did division said Diya. She counted the pods. There were a total of 20 pods and you divided them into two parts. That's 10 each. Now, if I divide 20 pods into four equal parts, I will get five in each. Look, said Diya as she moved the pods into four groups. So, 20 divided by four is equal to five. Oh, that's not difficult, said Pa. No, Pa, it's not difficult. Remember, when Ramu Kaka and you brought back our share of the rice from the owner's farm? Asked Diya. We divided the sacks and each of us got six sacks, said Pa. Correct. There were 31 sacks in all for five families. 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6 and we had one sack left which we poured equal portions of into 5 vessels, said Diya. So, division is like sharing something? Asked Pa. Yes, division is exactly that. We can even share time. In the morning, we have 30 minutes to use the bathroom. 30 minutes divided by 3 is 10 minutes. So, you, Ma and I each get 10 minutes. But you take much more time than 10 minutes and I have to manage with lesser, frown Pa. Diya smiled. Maybe you are right. But in math, division is sharing equally. We can divide work too. If we have to cook three dishes for dinner, each of us can cook one dish, said Diya confidently. Diya saw Pa's face light up. She felt like she had won a battle. But today, I will cook all three dishes, said Pa with a mischievous grin. He was hoping to escape the math exercises that were sure to follow. Diya laughed. But I want to cook too. What if we divide the work between us? So, I will cook one dish and you cook the other. For the third one, we can divide the work between us. Correct, teacher? Asked Pa. Correct student, replied Diya. The story is over. But did you know? The ancient Egyptians knew to divide and are likely to have used division in the planning and construction of the pyramids. However, they didn't use the symbol that we use, which is called the obelisk. 
The first use of the obelisk as a symbol for division was first seen in a book called Toysh Algebra by Johann Rahn, published in the year 1659. The Chinese used their own version of the abacus called Suan Pan or Calculating Pan to do division until calculators became widely available. Scientists say that we end up doing math tasks like division while learning how to play musical instruments such as the guitar or the violin. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.books.speak.com Eruwawi! Eruwawi!